In idle dreams of long ago, I imagined my true love, a perfect match, a soulmate, an angel from above. Now you're here, and now I know a love will stay and thrive and grow. जितनी खूबसूरत ये लाइंस है उससे कई ज्यादा खूबसूरत इस स्टार कपल की लव स्टोरी है मूवी के सेट से शुरू हुई इस लव स्टोरी में ना ही कोई फॉर्मल प्रपोजल था और ना ही कोई कैंडल लाइट डिनर था तो सिर्फ एक दूसरे के लिए बहुत सारा प्यार हाय मैं हुरिया और आज वैलेंटाइन के इस खास मौके पे हमारे साथ स्टार चार्ट पे है एक बहुत ही प्यारा सा कपल ये बात तो सच है की जोड़िया ऊपर वाला बनाता है लेकिन प्यार इंसान को यही इसी दुनिया में होता है दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट हैपन टू द यंगेस्ट एंड प्रोबेबली द कूलेस्ट जोड़ी इन बॉलीवुड इस जोड़ी ने हमें एक बार फिर प्यार का सही मतलब सिखाया है येस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट जनीलिया एंड रितेश देशमुख जिन्होंने एग्जाम्पल सेट किया है दैट लव कॉन्कर्स ऑल सो विदाउट मेकिंग यू वेट एनी फर्दर फोन लाइन के दूसरी तरफ हमारे साथ मौजूद है रितेश एंड जनीलिया वेलकम टू द शो गाइज यू नो यू बोथ सेलिब्रेटेड नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ मैरिज ऑन थर्ड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी दिस ईयर वुड यू कॉल योर लव स्टोरी आई मीन आई डू फॉर मी योर मैरिज इज मोर लाइक अ फेरी टेल लाइक सो वुड यू कॉल योर लव स्टोरी एज अ फेरी टेल रोमांस Well, when I look at uh, our love story, I really did not, um, you know, look at fairy tale romances and think um, that oh, you know, I wish something like this never happened in my life. Uh, to tell you the truth, um, you know, uh, we always believed in uh, keeping it simple, uh, keeping it real, and uh, just building on uh, on a love story each passing day. And I think that was what was most special for us. To be together, we've been together for 19 years now, and um, the beauty is that uh, you know it just doesn't feel like it's been that long a time. At the same time, it's like you know you put one brick over the other, and we have made like a great wall for ourselves that is our home. Yeah, I don't know about fairy tales. You know, but I think uh, you know love after a point in time takes a bit of a backseat. You know, and the love. Of a relationship, I think to most of conversations, to being able to, you know, interact, talk to each other, because you know all the messy stuff and all happens for like a year or two years and all, and then it just, uh, it just becomes, you know, a matter of opinion, difference of opinion very often. But if you have the right kind of communication, I think, and if you uh, have the right kind of partner, I think uh, it goes much smoother. So today on Valentine's Day. When you celebrate, would you rather prefer having a new experience together, or get a gift, or would you like to be at home, relax, be with kids? How would you take Valentine back when you were dating? You know, me and Janelia, uh, though in many ways we think alike, we are alike. I just feel um, there are few things that are slightly different um, in our behavior. Like I would like to just. Chill. You know, I'm not the guy who likes to celebrate even birthdays and whatever. But Jinnya made me feel like you know, when we have to celebrate, let's celebrate because it's a moment. It's a day that needs to be special, and only these celebrations will make sure that we have memories that we can look back and say, you know, last year on this day we did this. Otherwise, it will just be any other day. And that really put the thought in my mind that you know we need to celebrate small, small things. It does not need. To be one big party or one big event, of course, you know if something becomes special, it's fine. But if it is not big event, even in a small way, if you can make a memory special, it's it's good enough. Over to you, Janelia. What do you have to say? Uh, yeah, I'm very much. So, you know, I like to celebrate little things. I mean, not very elaborate, but I. Enjoy your celebration. I enjoy it. Uh, there are days that uh, you know I really enjoy having our friends, you know, as part of us or whatever. But there are days it's just about me and the patient. That could be coffee. That could be a walk. Like we do a lot of walking, so we enjoy walking together. And that for us makes 
moment you know so um it just depends on that day how we feel and you know how we want to go about it so um, whether it's valentine day or any other day like we feel like we're going for a really long drive and that would be special or you know just walking on the beach if we walk for like 9 10 km and still make it a moment so uh i think that that that's why we don't have a fixed thing as to what to do but we find our own way of celebrating life <laughs> that's very well said so was it love at first sight for either of you no i i don't think it was love at first sight but i guess um it was much more stronger than that it was just two people who came together spent time together and did not realize that you know they were actually slipping into being in love with each other so you connected when you met for your first film that was on the set i i think we connected when we uh, went for our screen test for our first film to jemiri kasam and um, you know she was i don't think she was 18 or younger than that and i was nearly 20 24 and uh, it was just uh, there's some purity of uh, you know thoughts and also it was 20 years ago uh, so uh, life was not that complicated we were not uh, burdened with social media it was not about oh we met let's click a picture put it on instagram it was not about that yeah. the importance was more to the person than a picture so it it was it was a different time it was a great time so true life of social media love on social media and life at the time of social media okay so either one of you were there any crazy moments or mad moments you know janelia sending bunch of flowers or cake to show that you were in love so uh, you, you know there's one thing i'd like to share so we didn't have a date particular date that we celebrated ourselves together but well said we two days before valentine they used to be our day where we thought this was a day when we thought we started dating each other so before valentine day i spent a huge bouquet of flowers to jinilia's house and jinilia had named it a garden for some strange reason or the yeah, garden that's saying it was a garden because it was then was you you know uh bouquet of flowers like very huge i can't even call it a bouquet it was so huge uh but it was very beautiful so uh it used to come at 12 o'clock sharp in the night <laughs> and at that point in time my parents were going to like what is this like what is this day it doesn't even sound like a day to you know send things or something and then so probably it was like a pre valentine thing but it's not in valentine why are the flowers coming on 12 Yeah. Everything is special for us because February third is when we married third and fourth because we married in the traditional um, Maharashtrian Hindu ritual on fourth we married um, the white wedding which is beautiful then uh, on twelfth is um, our anniversary and fourteenth is Valentine's Day so February is quite an eventful month for us. Absolutely. And both my brothers are married in February. Okay, so February is the month for you and your family marriage romance love. February is indeed a beautiful month. So Janelia, what about you? What is the craziest thing that you have done for Ritesh? She bought me know. my Tesla car. I don't yeah. think anything can be more crazy than that. Yeah, that was like something special. I was pretty much a family member to us. So yeah, it is with our meal. Yeah. I think That's something that the best love of all the gifts that I've given. <laughs> so, no, I can't keep this giving me some wonderful, wonderful gifts. So it's wonderful. I'm happy that she gives me better gifts than I give her. Absolutely, it is not just about the gift. It's more about like you know affection and love you both have for each other. Okay, so that brings to my next question. You have that kuch khatta, kuch meetha, kuch tikha kind of relationship, and touch wood, it has never become kadwa or bitter. You have always had that freshness in your relationship to your romance and love. How do you guys maintain that spicy love? What I what I think is uh, uh, we just enjoy ourselves. Like I was telling someone, and you know, we're not one of those to have like uh, a boys' night out or a girls' night out. Like we don't get fed up with each other. We we uh, you know we can chill with each other. We 
we have that majority that if you want to go out, you go out. If I want to go out, I'll go out. You know. But we don't need to have that moment where oh no, I need to get away from from my partner. I think we don't enjoy that as much. We include people into our lives, but we don't let it go into a zone where you know. Oh, now I need a break from you. I need a break. You're too much into my. Earshot, here and now.